I'm Omer. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Castor. Uh, Elad, I'm the co-founder and CTO. Hi, I'm David. I'm the vice president of business development of Castor. So we're all from Israel, which is pretty far away from here. Um, I mean, I, am, I guess all of us are village people, but uh, we somehow uh, got into the same unit in the Israeli Air Force, which is where we met 16 years ago. And uh, I think that I wanted to be a football player, but somehow I ended up as an engineer. Um, I, well, we, we all served together for four years. We were air rescue. So I guess the Superman G.I. Joe thing kind of worked out for me. Um, and then we uh, went in a different direction. I'm a software engineer. I, I used to work for Stratasys, one of the biggest companies in the 3D arena. In Stratasys, I was in a position that could see, really could see the customer's needs. I have a background in economics and accounting, mainly in accounting. I used to work for ENY for eight years in the uh, insurance group. Uh, in Israel, mainly working with high-tech companies, so I saw a lot of innovation, a lot of entrepreneurship around me. I think the way it started is that Omer for half a year tried to get us psyched on 3D printing because we're not from that uh, arena. Uh, then there was like half a year of meeting in coffee shops and brainstorming ideas um, until we really got uh, motivated to, to create uh, what Castor turned out to be today. And then it went from there to bootstrapping, to for the big step of uh, leaving everything and uh, becoming unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> and then funded. And I hope the story will continue to, you know, IPO. So I think that Techstars is, is pretty unique. I mean, this, this program is unique for us because it gives us an opportunity for both product market fit examine, testing with Stanley Black & Decker as a user of our software and with Techstars as a, a preparation towards a, a serious uh, seed round, which is what we're looking for. So this combination was, was really what we look for. I think the ability to hear so much opinions on our product, on our development, on our strategy, on our market fit, on our needs. Sometimes you don't even know what you need and, and you find it out from, from a mentor or, or someone else who comes to, uh, uh, to the program to participate. So that's, that's amazing, at least for me in Techstars. This is one of the best values that I see in a program like that. First, it's, it's getting to know a big company. That that's, doesn't happen every day to a startup. Uh, we, are, we are so much in debt to them that uh, <laughs> I don't know what to, where to start. Marty is, you know, every day having caster meetings with uh, other executives in the company, getting in touch with this guy and that guy and bringing them all together. And Claudia is, is, is the best. She, she made the program the way I think she, she wanted it to be. And what I think that what's common to, to three of them is they're, as a human being, they're just good people to work with. If you're a foreign company and coming from the outside, it's really a good lesson to learn about what it means to, to, to penetrate into the U.S. market. Um, before you get, get here, you should make your own goals. I mean, each company is in a different point, have the, they need to have a very um, specific um, view of what it means to have a successful three months in Techstars and standing back in Decker. Uh, you need to have grit in order to be an entrepreneur. So we, we get bad feedback a lot from clients and, and you know, the, the, I think the issue is taking it, trying to absorb it, trying to distill and, and you know, filter it and really move the product forward pivot if, if, if you need and, and, and you have to have grit in order to absorb that kind of feedback and not, you know, push it away. No, no, no. Okay, probably I'll move to the next client and, and 
the story goes on. So that's an important thing.